This video will cover the topic, identifying the operations used to create equivalent systems of equations. Let's look at this example. Consider the following systems of linear equations. System A, negative 4x plus 3y equals 4, or negative 5x plus 6y equals 14. System B, negative 4x plus 3y equals 4, and 3x equals 6. In system C, we have negative 4x plus 3y equals 4, and x equals 2. Answer the questions below. For each, choose the transformation and then fill in the blank with the correct number. The arrow means the expression on the left becomes the expression on the right. A system of linear equations is a group of equations that share the same variables. For example, system A has two equations that both have the variables x and y. If there is a pair of x and y values that make both equations true, those values are called a solution to that system of equations. In system A, if x equals 2 and y equals 4, then both equations are true, and so 2 comma 4 is a solution to that system of equations. An equivalent system of equations is another group of equations that shares the same variables and have the same solution. For example, system B is an equivalent system of equations because it also has x and y as variables and the solution is 2 comma 4. System C is also equivalent for the same reason. In this question, we are asked how to transform one system of equations into another. What can we do to transform one system of equations into an equivalent system of equations? There are three operations we can do to transform a system into another. Our first option is multiply an equation by a constant. Our second option is add two equations together. And our third option is add a multiple of one equation to another. Let's try to figure out which operations were used in our problem. To get from A to B, we can see that the first equation stayed the same. This means that there was no operation applied to that equation. However, equation 2 clearly changed. Let's try to figure out what operation was used to transform it. Our first option is that A2 was multiplied by a constant to get B2. Is that what happened? Well, there's no number that we could multiply the first equation by to get that second equation, so I don't think that's it. You're right, that's not what happened. Let's try option two. Were the two equations added together? Well, if we add them, we would get minus 9x plus 9y equals 18. So I don't think that's it. Okay, great. Let's try option three. Could a multiple of equation one have been added to equation two? I think so, but I'm not sure how to figure it out. Well, I noticed that in equation b2, there is no y variable. This means that when we added a multiple of equation a1 with equation a2, the y variables canceled out. So what should we multiply equation 1 by to make this happen? Well, equation a1 has plus 3y, and equation a2 has plus 6y. To make those cancel, we'd have to multiply 3y by negative 2 to make it a negative 6y, right? Exactly. If we multiply equation a1 by negative 2 and then add it to a2, it would eliminate the y variable, which would be similar to equation b2. Let's see exactly what happens. So we have negative 2 multiplied by negative 4x plus 3y equals negative 2 multiplied by 4, which becomes, when we do the distributive property, 8x minus 6y equals negative 8. And then we combine this with equation a2, which is negative 5x plus 6y equals 14. We see here the 6y, the y's cancel out, which leaves us with 8 minus 5 becomes 3x equals negative 8 plus 14, 6. 3x equals 6 that's equation B2. Right. So we discovered that to get from system A to system B, equation B1 is the same as equation A1, and equation B2 is negative 2 times A1 plus A2. Awesome. Now what? Now we have to figure out how to get from system B to system C. Well, I see that equation C1 is the same as equation B1. Right. And it looks like equation C2 is equation b2 divided by 3. Right. So if we take 
equation b2 and divide it by 3, we get equation c2, which is x equals 2. Awesome. So to figure out which transformations were used on these systems of equations, we decide if each new equation is a multiple of an old one, if it's two of them added, or if it's a multiple of one added to the other one. You got it.